The proposal proposed section 44D subsection 6 of the Reserve Bank Act, which is coming through this finance bill, which I believe needs to be supported by every member of this National Assembly. It is intended to read the tender of payment of zignoids and coins shall be legal tender in all transactions alongside any other currency acceptable as legal tender as prescribed under section 44A. So this is a very welcome provision. However, my point of concern is on the enforcement measures. What happens as is presently happening in most of the businesses that we have in this country, where someone has their zig either in hard cash or in electronic form, and they want to be able to buy goods that are manufactured in Zimbabwe, they want to buy those goods and they're turned away, or they're given some flimsy reason as to why they are not able to buy those goods in zig. Our law must be very comprehensive in terms of the measures Madam Speaker, if you may protect me from the uh, comments Order. unwelcome and unsolicited from the Honorable Member Order. 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 I protected you when you were debating. It is uh, very unfair. Order. I did not call you to, 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 to comment. Madam Speaker, I did not do anything. You know, I was given five point of orders from this side. And, and, and the order was... Order was order, 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 but We are very tolerant. Order, order, yes. order, order. That doesn't give you the, the, the right to, hear, to, to shout when someone is, is, is debating. Order, Bonduzo, you can proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the protection you have accorded me. At the point... I wish to reiterate, Madam Speaker, is that it's well and good if in this august house we pass this important provision of the laws, which is to the effect that thou shalt not reject the zig as legal tender in any transaction in Zimbabwe. But the real issue that we need to deal with, and we must be able to deal with it as a matter of utmost priority, is what happens when someone directly or indirectly rejects the Zig. There are so many ways. Our people are cunning and they are so crafty. Often at times they will tell you that we do not have a swipe machine. Because by and large, we have promoted the use of electronic payment, which is very good and important because it enables us to have our tax in every transaction. However, you'll be told that uh, uh, we do not have swipe machines. Or even when the swipe machine is working, we are told some flimsy reason, the battery is, is dead, or there's no power, or some such reason. But that can be a story that can be recycled at infinitum. But ultimately, its effect is the rejection of the Zig. And in my respectful view, we need to have this addressed as a matter of priority.